How big is North America? Well, big, but what happens if you mix a colossal misunderstanding with photography and a conspiratorial mindset? You make a ridiculous meme and think you're clever. That's what. Welcome along to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth Memes with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin with today's meme though, I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs and businesses to stand out online. You could just be starting out or even managing a growing brand. Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Now, as you know, I've been busy working on the Run Man Dan website. And I have to say the next generation website design system from Squarespace Fluid Engine means it's never been easier for anyone to unlock that unbreakable creativity. So you start with a best in class website template, and then you can customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. As you know, I'm an ultra runner. I love being outdoors and in and around it. So this nature template here was perfect for the running website, I thought. I was able to customize the look a bit, update the content and then add features to fit the unique needs for what I want for a running website. And I've been busy uploading my race reports to the site. Squarespace has some really powerful blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos and updates and you can categorize, share, and schedule your posts to make your content work for you. And I can't wait to add my upcoming races on there as well. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Simandan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right, back to today's video, which is our second in the series of our new series of debunking flat earth memes. Just before we get to that though, a quick correction from the first episode two weeks ago. When calculating the centripetal velocity of the earth, I missed out a zero. Now this was a script reading error as I calculated everything correctly beforehand, but I read out the too few zeros when reading the script. Then I made the overhead shots with the script recording, dolt. Anyway, to confirm, it should have been 0.034 meters per second squared, not 0.34 meters per second squared. Right, on with today's memes, and this time we're looking at this particular one here. I'm sure you've seen it all before, or a variation of it. But basically, flat earthers uh, post a whole load of pictures of Earth taken through history on the same image, all showing the same continent, and then saying something silly like, come on NASA, make your mind up. Well, this time we're going to look at each photo of Earth individually. Work out the details of the photo taken and then recreate it here in my office slash studio. Right, okay, let's get started and we're going to begin with this one. Now this is a complex one actually and wow, the flat earthers are going to have a field day about this one but it is a composite image. We have to be honest here when we're doing this. But composite does not mean fake. The clouds in this image are actual clouds from August the 20th, 2007, uh, where you can see Hurricane Dean about to hit the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, what they've done is they've placed these clouds over the top of a photo of Earth taken in the year 2000 by the now obsolete weather satellite GOES-8. Make no mistake, both sections of this composite image are real. But for the purposes of this comparison, we are talking about land masses here, so we'll be using the image taken by the GOES-8 satellite. Now, the GOES-8 satellite would have taken its photo of Earth from its orbital height of 35,786 kilometers. Now, bearing in mind the moon is 384,400 kilometers away, that is around 9% of the distance to the moon. Right, let's park that one for the moment and we'll go to the second image of the Earth, which is this one here. This is the Blue Marble 2012. Now the Blue Marble 2012 is another composite image, but that does not mean fake. Now this photo is actually a variety of photos of the Earth's surface all stitched together. And that is because all the photos were taken by a satellite called Suomi NPP. And that had an orbital height of only 824 kilometers. Now to put that into context, you can see here just how close that is to the Earth's surface. That means it cannot take a photo of the entirety of Earth's surface because it's so close to it. 
and hence why it takes photos in long wedge shapes 3,000 kilometers across. And that is why the US looks so big in comparison to the whole globe, because the photo was taken so close to Earth. Now this graphic here is an excellent one, and it shows exactly what I mean and why the continents appear different sizes in both our different photos. But I don't expect you to just believe me. Let's try and replicate those photos here in my office, shall we? So let's start with GOES-8, and taking into account the scale of my globe here, which has a diameter of around 30 centimetres, and we can work out the ratio of this globe here to the Earth to be around 1 to 42.4 million. And that means that one centimetre on this scale here is equal to around 42.4 million centimetres in real life. So, knowing that the GOES-8 satellite is 3.57 billion centimetres away from Earth, in this model it should be 84 centimetres away from my globe. So let's go ahead and position the camera that far away from my globe and take a photo. Right, the other image is going to be a bit harder to do. Now, using our scale which we figured out earlier, we're going to look at the Xiaomi MPP satellite, which let's remember is 824 kilometres away from Earth, that being 82.4 million centimetres. And we can work that out here in my office, and the camera needs to be 82.4 million divided by 42.42 million, which is pretty much two centimetres away. So let's go ahead and take our photo, shall we? Right, there we go. Let's see the results. The 2007 photo is first, remember. Let's have a look at that. And here is my replication on the globe in my office. Not bad, not bad. But what about the 2012 blue marble? Let's put that up. And here is my attempt. Well, there we go. I think that's pretty conclusive, isn't it? Two images of Earth showing two different continent sizes and two images of my globe here in the office showing two different continent sizes, as close as I could get them. Happy with that one, everyone? Well, there we go. Another meme, another flat Earth meme, thoroughly destroyed, and thoroughly looked at and thoroughly debunked. So all I have to say then is we're done and dusted for another video. Thanks so much for watching, it truly is appreciated today. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you wanna watch the first episode of the uh, Flat Earth Meme Debunking, I'll put the link for that in the description. And of course, if you really, really enjoyed it today, hit that thumbs up button too. Just enough time to uh, thank Squarespace again for sponsoring today's video. Just go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great couple of days, and I'll see you on Friday, where I'll be answering a Flat Earther challenge in the hope to win $15,000. See you then.